There are a lot of reasons why the Grizzly outsells the sportsman in America, but it all boils down to one core thought. Real world tough versus just talking tough. And Polaris loves talking tough, like their on-demand system that they say comes with true all-wheel drive. But when you run it in the real world against Grizzly's best in the industry on-command system, you'll quickly see the difference between talking the talk and walking the walk. With the Grizzly, you get to choose two-wheel drive or four-wheel limited slip when you need even more traction. Same with the Polaris, except the rear wheels have to lose traction before the electromechanical four-wheel drive system kicks in and engages the front wheels. Not the most confident position when you're in a tough situation. The Polaris's on-demand system is constantly shifting back and forth between drive modes as it sees fit. And out there in the real world, when the going gets really gnarly, the Grizzly gives you the additional choice of four-wheel differential lock. All four wheels pulling with maximum torque without the need for any wheels to slip first. You can't get that level of performance on any Polaris. Now, would you rather have a machine that needs to lose traction before it can increase it? that engages and disengages constantly without you ever knowing which one it's going to do? Or the freedom to select the perfect drive mode that you want and the confidence of knowing that you're getting the best possible traction for any situation? That's what we mean by real world tough. The heart of every utility ATV is its transmission, and the durable, reliable, ultramatic, continuously variable transmission is just one more way the Yamaha Grizzly earns real-world tough status. A separate centrifugal clutch maintains constant belt tension, so when you go from idle to applying throttle, the belt stays smoothly engaged to the drive sheaves. By design, the Polaris's CVT belt slips at idle. As you apply throttle, friction builds up until the belt catches and snaps engaged. This isn't a once in a while occurrence. This happens every time you accelerate from idle. And because of this design, the belt can start slipping in a variety of tough situations when you can least afford it. Burning out or breaking and leaving you stranded with a high repair bill. To top it off, the Polaris CVT is stuck way back behind the motor in a location that's hard to reach when you'll need to do belt maintenance. And independent repair research shows what our owners already know. Grizzly's Ultramatic Transmission is the most durable and long-lasting CVT system in the industry. That's real world tough. No other brand not even tough talking Polaris can make that statement. If you just want bragging rights to the biggest engine, then you could buy a Sportsman 850. But in the real world, it's the power to weight ratio that matters. So don't be surprised when your Grizzly buddies are able to outride you and go places you can. The Sportsman outweighs the Grizzly by as much as 150 pounds when you compare them equally with full tanks of gas. That's like carrying the weight of another person with you everywhere you go. Because of its engine size, the Polaris will probably beat the Grizzly in a drag race. And only by a few feet. But down in the low and mid-range, the real world where you actually do your riding, the Grizzly 700 can more than hold its own against the Sportsman's 850cc twin. And when you're muscling over rocks, ruts, and ledges, weight plays just as big a role. And that's where the Grizzly's 648-pound curb weight pays off in reduced effort and all-day riding comfort. And oh, by the way, Grizzly's fuel-efficient four-stroke engine, lower weight and larger fuel tank, means you can ride up to 40% farther between fill-ups, a fact that was proven in Dirt Wheels Magazine's Big Bore Shootout. You'd also better be prepared for a bigger price tag, because a Sportsman costs a whole bunch more than a Grizzly 700 FI.
Polaris claims their four-wheel drive system is way simpler than the Grizzlies to operate. Well, let's test that claim out in the real world. First, the Grizzly. On a hill like this, you can choose four-wheel diff lock and ride to the top with confidence and ease. Now let's come back down. The Grizzly's four-wheel differential lock and four-wheel engine braking provide excellent traction for a smooth, steady ride. And remember, you don't have to touch a thing. Now let's try the exact same hill with the Sportsman. You can select four-wheel drive and it too handles the climb pretty easily. So far, so good. But before you come down, if you want four-wheel engine braking, you'd better engage their Active Descent Control, or ADC, an electronic device that tries to duplicate what the Grizzly does naturally. Without it, the front wheels freewheel, so when the rear wheels do finally offer some resistance, they tend to lock up and slide. Not very reassuring. And here's where it gets interesting. When it's turned on, ADC keeps the front tires engaged, giving you almost too much engine braking. And only when there's no throttle and below speeds of 15 miles per hour. If you tap the throttle or exceed 15 miles per hour, you start to freewheel again. Pretty unsettling. The Grizzly operates just as you would want it to, and you don't have to touch a thing. On the Sportsman, if you forget to disable the ADC, when you let off the throttle, it feels just like you're hitting the brakes. Turn off ADC, now the Sportsman reverts to just rear wheel engine braking. So ask yourself, which ATV is really simpler to operate? After Yamaha introduced its award-winning electric power steering system in 2006, Polaris needed to play catch-up and brought out their own EPS models. True to their tough-talking style, Polaris claims their system offers 30% more boost, and on a smooth showroom floor, you can turn the handlebars with one finger. But experts in the field were quick to recognize that all this extra boost wasn't necessarily an advantage, especially out there in the real world, especially when it comes to positive feedback from the trail. ATVEscape.com said rider feedback may be an issue for some people as they want a real feel for the terrain as they are riding. And when they rode the Polaris, ATV.com said, we'd like to see the variable assist and the power steering taper off a bit more at higher speeds where steering effort naturally becomes easier. Now here's what these independent ATV journalists said about Yamaha's EPS during the same head-to-head -head competitive ride. It's hard to explain how much power steering can improve your ride if you've never used it before. You simply don't have to work as hard, and you don't feel as much kickback from ruts and rocks. In our own test, we found that when the Polaris left the showroom, the one-finger steering left the Polaris. And actually riding on rough terrain, we found the Polaris EPS to be inconsistent, alternately feeling like it offered too much or not enough assist. The Grizzly's EPS has just the right balance of positive trail feedback and ease of steering. And when it comes to maneuvering in tight situations, the Grizzly's tight turning radius makes it a snap. Not quite as much with the Polaris. The Grizzly comes with four-wheel disc brakes, with dual brake levers, and handlebar mounted master cylinders for the most positive, responsive, fade resistant braking system you can get. The Sportsman comes with disc brakes as well. Two in the front and, hold on, maybe somebody at the plant went on a brake. Or maybe they're just trying to save a few bucks. And instead of the Grizzly's two brake levers on the handlebars giving you the ability to engage the front or rear brakes independently for ultimate control, on the Sportsman, you only get one which operates all three brakes simultaneously. You have to use this foot pedal to independently work the rear brake. So ask yourself, which would you prefer? There are a lot of reasons why the Grizzly outsells the Sportsman in America. It stands up to just about anything you can throw at it. With build quality, that's second to none like sealed marine grade electrical connectors that are nearly impervious to water and debris. Just look at the quality difference on the Polaris. 
ample protection for lower A-arms and CV joint boots. Here's how Polaris protects these components. Brake lines that are well routed and close to the suspension. How'd you like to snag this on a branch? Grizzly's also designed for real world serviceability and ease of maintenance. For example, to change the air filter, all you have to do is clean out the reusable foam filter and put it back in. On the Sportsman, a once and done paper element. If it gets wet, you might as well throw it.